Hi, my name is Panawat. Hi, my name is Panawat. 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 Panaw
my child a super hyper. We like it. Because after all, why not? The student, the children have a lot of high energy that they can help their parents doing a lot of housework, like cooking, shopping, and cleaning. Sounds good, right? <laughs> now, imagine a school where a teacher is super happy to have at least two to three students that are different because they always bring a good mood and they are always creative thinker in the classroom. And imagine a professional environment where the employer always put this following on the job vacancy placement. We are looking for a person who are hyper in any form. <laughs> why is this interesting? Because we are multiple tasks, and why other fall into sleep, we can work. <laughs> and now, in order to make this world happen, we keeper offer three interventions. Let's go to see one by one. First one, <laughs> creative activities for the student and teenager during school vacation. We want to uh, empower, empower them and give them a new skill and contribute back to the society. So through creative activities such as three painting, we will bring the kids out of the house using the energy outdoor and the art will be the tool for them to express their ideas and thoughts. Now, second, section for teachers and parents. We want teachers and parents to know how to embrace the high energy student and a student and know how to also empower them. So for the teacher, we offer teaching session. And for the parents, we offer awareness about fast food, soft drink, exercise, and how to empower the child session. And lastly, awareness campaign. We want the society to accept differences. We want the society to celebrate diversity. So through awareness campaign, for interview, articles, games, petition, and so on, we believe that we cannot only inspire the student and also we cannot inspire the society. Now, today, I have a story that I want to share with you. It's a story that I feel really connected to myself as a child. It is one of my favorite stories by the author Paulo Coelho, The Bird and the Cage. And here's how it's gone. Once upon a time, there was a bird who had a perfect voice, a strong wings, and the most beautiful feathers. And one day, the woman saw him flying and sinking in the nature, and she fell in love. But she was so afraid, afraid that maybe this might be the last time that she ever going to see him. And she thought, I'm going to set a trap, and from tomorrow, he will never leave me again. The following day, the bird fell into the trap that had been put in the cage. The women come to look at the bird with love and care every day. But since the bird was living in the cage, he couldn't fly. He began to stop singing, and he grew ugly. The woman paid no more attention to him except by feeding him and cleaning the cage. And one day, the bird died. The woman felt so sad and spent all her time thinking about him. But it wasn't the moment that he was living in the cage. But it was a moment that she first met him flying freely, singing so beautifully in the nature if the woman had allowed him to come and go, she would have loved it and admired him ever more. Keeper want to help the children out of the cage because they don't deserve to be caged, but they deserve to fly. Thank you.